So as you know, uh, Georgia won the 2021 through 22 season national championship. Go dogs. Well, many years ago, you, there was this local sports guy on radio talk show named Seth Hart. And me and him argued for many years, probably, I would say five years about Georgia should replace Mark Rick. We, I, I told him many times, after, season after season, Mark Rick kept not making the playoffs or the national title game and that he he couldn't win the big games. Mark Rick was, started off good. We won the SEC championship, I think his first or second year. First five years, we were having double-digit win seasons. But after that, Mark Rick started declining. So um, I wanted to show you this, what i uh, let you hear this. This is this guy on the radio, what he says. It's not going to take that long. All right, let's open up the email inbox, Twiz. You've got mail. Mail. The mail is here. Harp. This comes to us from Thomas, by the way. I am one of those guys you always bash for wanting Rick fired. Yeah, you are probably one of them. I have said for the past five years that Georgia will never win a national title game under Rick and prove myself right again. Really, there's 120 teams in Division One college football. Only one can win, and four of the last five have been Alabama. All right. Pathetic game played Saturday. We beat ourselves with turnovers. Missouri didn't turn it over at all. How about, can, can Tom, can they actually beat you? Yes, our top two running backs and our top two receivers were injured, but we had plenty of backup talent to win. Uh, obviously, you didn't. Our kicker missed that game. And our backup kicker missed a field goal, which was the determining factor. I don't even know what you're talking about here. I won a national title. UGA may get lucky and hire Kirby Smart and win immediate like Florida did when they fired Ron Zook. Uh, actually, they replaced him with Urban Meyer, who had won undefeated at Utah and also had won the MAC at Bowling Green. You're going to replace him with a coordinator that's never been a head coach. That's your plan? Gotcha. Yeah, that was my plan, Harp. Georgia replaced him with a defensive coordinator, Kirby Smart, and look what happened. We won. And here's one more recording. Get from people, okay? This is the type of lunacy that I get from fans. Really quick, you ready for this? Just random email. Seth, 7.9 out of 10 is same ratio as 79 out of 100. You both multiplied both by 10. Congratulations. A 79 is a C in college. ESPN ranked Rick as a C coach, which is proof he is not a good coach. I've said it year after year after year after year. Well, that's a lot of years. And will prove myself right again this year. UGA will never win a national title under Rick. He couldn't even win one with A.J. Green, Stafford, and no Sean, all on one team. Thank you for the completely random and incoherent email on this Thursday, Thomas. Thanks, man. Thanks. And again, well, who are you replacing him with? They always ask people that. Kirby Smart. I mean, you guys never been a head coach? And exactly how many coordinators have left Alabama to do great work as a head coach under Nick Saban's eight-year run there? Bueller? Bueller? Anybody? Anybody? Come on. You had your shot two years ago, all right, and the pass got deflected at the goal line. So what happens. I didn't even get into this. No, no lunacy today. We just have straight talk today. How about this? So you see, Rick, I mean, uh, Harp, the, I was right, and Kirk, uh, all that time that Mark, uh, Georgia should part ways with Mark Rick and hire Kirby Smart. I wish you were still on radio here so I could call your show and tell you I was right and you were wrong. Bye.